What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So as you guys can see it is raining. It is super windy. I'm using my new GoPro here so uh, I'm sorry if it uh, has bad audio or anything like that. I gotta get used to using this thing. But anyways I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today and uh, we're gonna go do out and do some feeding in this horrible weather. Um, I'm gonna try to actually put out some hay as well and you guys know that's never no fun when you got these goats you got to try to sneak in the gate and all that good stuff and if you guys watched the last video i told you guys we were going to try to go back to the auction and possibly uh bid on a couple of animals and after speaking to some of our friends we found out that they were wanting to bid on the same animals that we were interested in let me get in the shop so you guys can hopefully hear me so anyways, we decided not to go back and bid on the animals. So sorry, we did not come home with any new animals, but hopefully here soon, we will be able to uh, maybe just buy them somewhere else, not at an auction, just from an actual breeder. And I'm not gonna get into what we're looking for, nothing just yet. So hopefully that will be a surprise to you guys. Um, another little update. I did harvest a buck. I'll throw up a picture right here. Um, opening morning of black powder season, I harvested this eight point buck. He's not a monster, but he will help to uh, fill the freezer up. So I am super, super pumped about that. Um, it's always a good feeling when you can uh, harvest wildlife and uh, process it yourself, fill it in the freezer and then uh, cook it up. <clears throat> we love eating venison here. We like everything from jerky. We like cooking it. We like uh, cooking it in chili, all, all different types of stuff. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the keys to the tractor and uh, I'm going to fire it up, get it warmed up, and then we're going to go out there. I got to go switch out the uh, front loader implement. I don't know what I got on there. I think I got the bucket on there right now. Um, we'll have to switch it out and put the hay spear on there. But winter weather here, it has been raining for at least 24 hours straight pretty much. Um, the roads are starting to flood. It is 37 degrees. Tonight it is going to get way down below freezing supposedly. So it is very cold right now. So we don't have any hay out yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get some hay out for uh, both herds of goats. we got round bells out there. And I think they will be happy. And we're also going to feed everybody else. Um, probably going to go ahead and feed so I can try to sneak the tractor in the gate. And uh, see how that goes. So I'm going to set the camera up and uh, film try to film most of this so uh, bear with me
Okay, here comes all the goats. So how's this gonna work? You guys are going to have to get out of the way if you want me to feed you. Come on. Come over here to eat everybody. We're not feeding you in your troughs today. Because I got to have room. Mojo, you gonna come eat? Come on, boy, hurry up! Hurry! Come on, Mo! We gotta race against time! Come on, hurry! Hurry! Hurry, 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 hurry! Okay, come on, good boy. Alright. Okay, your egg's in there. Hey, your egg's in there. Hurry up and eat. Food's over there, girl. Oh. Okay, so you guys can see, this is an older bell of hay from the year before. It's a little dirty on the bottom, so I'm not gonna bother with putting it over in the hay cradle. We're just gonna set it here on the ground. Those, once you tear the outer layer away, it's actually good hay on the inside. You can see the difference in the color there.
Gute Bäume. You got eaten the rain, but it I waited all day to come feed and it ain't quit raining one time. We'll go get some goat food. We'll get Cora and Leesky's food and feed them. And uh, hopefully that'll keep them occupied on that side of the field. I'm just gonna set this hay bale over in that field on the ground as well, instead of putting it in the hay feeder. Okay. All right, Corey, 
your turn, girl. Leesky. Come on. Your turn. Watch the dog. Got that done in record time and uh, my hands are frozen i even got on some leather gloves now the temperature just keeps dropping um they haven't been calling for any ice or snow or nothing like that but i don't know how it's not because it is uh really really cold right now and uh the wind's blowing like crazy straight out of the north and uh yeah so we pretty much went from summer to a short fall and i can say pretty much we're getting some winter weather now but i want to show you guys something i got here what i got to do next look at this that is the buck that i harvested i'm fixing to take that tub in the house and uh getting getting ready to cut all that up clean all that meat up and start grinding and bagging everything and stick it in the freezer so uh i know it's a little bit different video i just wanted to bring you guys along with me today and uh not so much talking which isn't always a bad thing sometimes it's better just to uh show stuff instead of running my mouth all the time some people say so anyways that's just a little bit of farm life here in about 20 minute video or so i don't know how long this video is going to be but uh the pond is filling up so that's that's a positive thing i don't know if you guys can see this with this gopro but the pond is actually getting filled up the other two ponds back there in the hog pens are getting filled up. 
and uh, this is probably the last video I'll have before the freeze. All the trees, everything else is going to be uh, probably turning brown and then uh, the leaves will be falling, the grass will be turning brown and going dormant. And uh, putting out this hay, this is the first hay we've put out this year. Right at the end of October, we almost made it to November this time. Still got a lot of green grass, but that's part of farming. And uh, that's why I just grabbed the GoPro. I said, I'm gonna go film this and show everybody just how fun it can be sometimes. And I am not griping by no means. I would rather do this than uh, be stuck in the city or not being able to live out in the country. You know, I just, I really do enjoy this. Good weather, bad weather, it comes and goes. Uh, some of the worst, for those of you that's been around with us for following our videos for a couple years, we've been through some pretty gnarly ice storms that was not fun at all. We tried to vlog through all that as well. Um, some of the stuff in the garden, there's still some tomatoes. There's some jalapenos, and uh, I might try to grab some of them. Uh, we got a lot of peppers in there. <clears throat> might see if uh, we can harvest some of them and maybe... Uh, uh, freeze dry them or something just to preserve them. The, the garden's been going strong all summer, all fall long. We're still getting these warmer temperatures until now, and it hasn't frosted or froze yet, so everything's still producing. It hasn't died yet. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna run in and uh, get dried off, get this deer meat all processed up, and I want to thank you guys for coming along with me. Thank you so much. Make sure you're subscribed, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time.